you. Now, gentlemen, so for the people that do not know, the JFCA is an organization that has been that was launched roughly around six or seven years ago. That has been over the past seven years supervising communities on, mul on mul multiple different games and platforms. One of which was the Halo Reach community between the years of 2011 and 2012, the original <laughs> traditional community on Halo Reach, and that's how some of you may know who I am. Now, for the past few years, Century Dawn, you have brought up earlier where I have been. I have been on Halo 4, playing with the big guys who decided to move over to Halo 4. People like UHR, UNR, Fleetcom, unfortunately, they failed. DOD until they crumbled, and so many other ones that have failed. Obviously, Halo 4 is not a game where clans like us can last, correct? Yeah. 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 So, we decide to resort back to our roots. And our roots are Halo Reach, of course, because that's where we all really got the ability to see what we are actually up to. Did you really see our potential, I should put it like that. Right, guys? So, yeah. What I have noticed when I came back to Halo Reach, I came back last fall to do a little observance. This was during the time when BGA was rising. I knew it, Michelle, when she first started out, when she was the first little annoying bitch that decided to come to me for support. No one likes her. No one likes her. We didn't like her. Nobody likes the bitch. Nobody. Obviously, well, rumor on the street, she's pregnant, so obviously someone liked her, or she decided to get knocked up, but I don't know. Not really my business. <laughs> Now, so when I was there, I was observing the different coalitions that were running around. They were silly to me, because if you know, know the JFCA, we invented the type of organized clan alliance, the one with a central government that actually controls the resources going in and out of the clans to make sure that there is order. And I'm all about order, if you know what I mean. But what I want to, what I wanted to address last fall was people like Bloody Aftermath, who was trying to link the Halo 4 and Halo Reach communities together. I was 100% against this because, after all, that goes against what the JFCA does, which is observing community actions that will cause an influx of arguments, war, terror threats, all of the above to all of that. I don't like that. So Bloody Aftermath failed because I had a little influence in it. Now, when we are... When I was looking at this, I saw that there were certain little coalitions. People like the board of director, people like NATO director, UAF director, etc. Those people. Then you have the Covenant, or the St. Healy groups. You have ACDN, which withered out. All those people. All of these things lacked necessity because, well, it was just not what the traditional community was. The traditional community back on Halo Reach was organized. It had an order. It had tiers: tier one, tier two, tier three clans, where the tier one clans hold held control over the community through their influence, not by their power or order. They do not have physical control, but they have the power of influence. You may remember if you go back to of YouTube days, you see all the media, mainly by JV in the UN. People like that, they controlled influence over the community through their media coverage. Purely that. Let's say, when, let's say the UN declared war on a clan. Well, that's going to reach a lot of coverage compared to some stupid clan declaring war on another. Not really going to reach, not really gonna pull any roots up. However, it still had influence. That's what we want to bring back to this community. I've already talked, already spoken to a few members of your community about doing this. They seem to be on board with this idea. When the Halo, when the original Tier One clans left the community, Tier Two and Tier Three clans had a little tribal war on Halo Reach. Warlords rose up. People like Michelle and basically started running things in an unorthodox way. And by running things, I mean that they're gaining the attention from things that needed the attention before, the original traditional type of clan that we need to keep running for the next generation leaders to understand. If you're old gen like me, then you understand this conflict. But to accomplish this, we need to get out the menace that was always threatening us annually back on the traditional, which is the St. Healy. If you remember, we were doing quite fine on our own. We had two distinct communities, Spartan, St. Healy. The Spartan clans will fight amongst each other, but what they're supposed to do, you have the St. Healy's that are busy off role-playing with each other. Now, we fight, we conquer, we destroy each other, but there's still order. 
And it gets to the point where we build up so powerful where we actually have the ability to stand together and make something different. San Healy decided to declare war over some stupid reason, like not getting enough coverage, not allowed to participate, which causes us to gain together and to fight the San Healy. Through this, you have clans fall, you have clans get destroyed completely, you have some clans rise. And, and that is a rebirthing effect. It is evolution. So you have new leaders of the community, new people at the bottom as well. And that's what it keeps going. We don't need some little community meeting that you guys tend to have every couple months or sometimes more than once in a month. It's a tea party, guys. Have you not noticed that? You go around, talk about your problems, and you see who you're going to fuck over the next day. I said that exact line to one of your community members. They completely agreed. It's, it's, it's chaos. It's stupid. What the hell happened? You have some Spartan clans who are now run, ran by St. Healy people, which I'm okay with to a certain extent, but then when it actually comes down to the line, Spartan versus St. Healy, they side with the St. Healy. So then you get fucked over if you're on the Spartan side. That's not acceptable. But there needs to be lines drawn in the sand. There needs to be strong borders that link everyone, that make them separate. Do you guys agree with that? Yeah. Mm. So there ne there oh, needs yeah, to be improvement. Oh, yeah. There needs to be improvement, guys. And you have... Who here likes I Slayer UK? Not really. Yeah, I not really. Like, I honestly, well, to be honest to you, in my opinion, I think he's sort of a hypocrite. He contradicts himself quite a bit. He's nothing but a bitch that doesn't know how to shit. Now, I Slayer, if I recall, was once a St. Healy, correct? Admiral Zynova. Yeah. Mm, yes, Zynova. Which I de uh, del deliberately fought against with the Spartan Defense Coalition two years ago. Okay, he was one of the main instigators of that entire fight. One of them, at least. Makuta was the main one. However, he has been going around as a troll. Not as in the troll that you think of when Joker Nation or the troll revolution that happened so many years ago. But as a troll that decides to just ruin the fun for all of us Spartans that are trying to gain leverage over another one. Political. Political leverage, which we all learn to love and embrace, right? So, for example, ShadowNet. I respected ShadowNet back in the day. I love ShadowNet. I love doing business with them. I did business with them when I was going against the Department of Defense led by SOCOM 3rd Group. We worked very well together. However, recently iSlayer decided to go in during ShadowNet's try basically revival in the community and try to recover or just release all of their secrets to the community. That's not fair. That's unacceptable. Then he goes around trying to predict that he wants to grow this community when he's trumping it. Do we all remember the Panthers or the Spartans? Yeah, they, yes. helped the they helped the community grow, believe it or not. I wasn't always friends with them at, at all the times, but I still respected them. Because they gained influence to whoever had their support. The United Nations had the Panthers' support for the longest time. Hell, they even ran their Army Rangers branch, which made them even more fearsome. That's what intelligence clans do. Even though you hate them like me, you still respect them. They still have a part to play in this community. And that's what needs to happen still. People like Ice Slayer decide to go around saying otherwise. I don't like that. I think it's stupid. I think it's a waste of time. Things need to have order. There needs to be order through influence. And, to, and with influence comes power. Okay? Not by the not by the brand or the arm that you wield with a sword, not with the shield, but with your voice. Influence, people. That's where the real power comes from. How do you think the JFCA got to do all the stuff that we did? We simply talked to the guys and they did it for us. It works, gentlemen. But of course, with influ with with that type of relationship, you have to give something back to them, which we did. But going back on topic. What is important to understand is the idea of alliances, okay? Do we remember back in the traditional days, JSOC and NATO who met together? Yeah. Usually they were with the Tier 1 clans or the Tier 2 clans that meet together during that. You have sides. You have allies versus the Axis powers, like World War One and World War Two. That's how things should operate, gentlemen. You don't have community meetings to discuss what are the sides in this. How are we going to go about this? Who gets fucked in the end? Who's going to win? Who's going to gain this much members, blah, blah, blah. That's not how things work. We're not... We're not the real United Nations, okay? It's survival of the fittest. 
and I'm pretty sure Sentry Don has that same idea in his head right now. That survival of the fittest is the way to dictate the community. The strongest rule, gentlemen, and survival of the fittest also brings competition. Competition brings innovation. That is capitalism for you, gentlemen. Hell, it's worked. Why not? We why can't we just embrace it and adapt it to this type of thing? It's not that different. After all, we're basically little mini countries with our own little mini economies. Our economies are resources that we gather, so we grow them. And when we grow resources, it becomes an arm race with our enemies. So I want to open up the I want to open up the floor here for anyone that has any sort of ideas or any sort of opinions that they want to share or questions. Now, if you do have one, I want to start with Sentry Dom because you wanted to open up the meeting as well. You had a you had a question or opinion to say. I honestly, in my opinion, think that this community should be more war turn. And I think that people should cause war with others and I think that conflict there there should be a lot more conflict. There really isn't. I don't understand all this peace bullshit and how people they become friends with one another in peace and meetings and all this stupid shit. Honestly, I, I just like raids and conflict. That's what I want. The stalkers are doing a great job at what they're doing. And that is <laughs> they're, causing more they're wars doing, and conflict. They're doing nothing. They're a troll group. They don't do anything. They get it attention. does not matter if they're a troll group. They are still inviting people to their raids. They are still causing conflict, war, and all of that stuff. All I, the good I've stuff. Seen them well, well, groups like stalkers do that. Well, group, no, he's right, John. The groups like stalkers do stuff like that. I respect that. But see, that goes, that goes back to the original idea, gentlemen, where we need to have instigators in the equation. Just without, inst without instigation that we just have further problems. You want to know why Halo 4 died? The Halo 4 clan community, it was made up with a bunch of people that loved to do politics that did not want to get hurt. Um, I explained it to someone else very straightforward. It's basically like two pretty boys trying to have a fight. They make rules of not to hit each other in the face. Puffy. Okay? It's basically like that. There's no finishing blows in the Halo 4 community. It usually ends up with a peace treaty, no borders are redrawn from nothing. It just goes back to the original time, so they have time to build up, so they can go further fuck themselves over in the next time. The only clan on Halo 4 with the mindset that I have would be the Legions of Sin. They have declared war on almost everybody on Halo 4. And they continue to thrive off of that. Members flock to them because their clan actually does something. They don't sit around all day in a lobby and talk about politics and yeah, how they can make a com the community a better one. They, they do things. Conflict. To make, the, to make the community better, guys, it's through our own doing. We cannot convene together and discuss how to do it. That's what you guys were doing earlier. This, however, is different. Right now we're discussing ways to go back to the old way to do it, to set the board like it was set before. Okay, we do not vote together to how we will move the pieces in this game. Okay, we are independent. We move them how we want to move them. If we get what we want, we can all go back to fucking each other in the end. Okay, we don't have to be allies after this. Amen. But, but here's the thing. In order for that to happen, you need to kick people out of this community that are like that. Who, now, General Stafford, you may have to inform, fill me in on stuff because, after all, I have been gone. But what is his stance? in the community right now on Halo Reach. Let me just say, he is he doesn't have one. like Sentry Director and General JB. Again, politics. Like you said, two pretty boys make rules not to hit each other in the face. Basically is what it is. Yeah, but General Stafford likes to play on his own rules. Okay, I've been in three meetings with him in the past fucking like two weeks or a week. And basically, he's invited DJ Truth, He's invited several other people, and he lets them do what they want. But yet, when we invite NA, people that we talk about, like NA, UAF director and all those other people, uh, if we're going to talk about somebody, I think we should have them in the meeting and no. be talking to them, not like talking behind their back, obviously. 
Yeah, we're I not agree. accomplishing. We're just gonna. Everybody's in this lobby is gonna end up going around and turning, talking to them in a private chat or in a party later in the week. So why not just ha like sort it all out and get it done right now? Throw them in the lobby and talk to you know whoever we all have a problem with or whoever whoever has a problem with. Because obviously getting sitting and talking about it for six hours isn't gonna help unless you know because everybody's just gonna go talk to them at their different times and get a different story, and then everybody's going to come back together tomorrow, and we're all going to say, oh, this is my story, this is his story, oh, they don't match, okay, let's go talk to him again. What is that accomplishing? Nothing. That's politics, gentlemen. That is, that's, you lie to people to gain in another argument. Okay, that's what you're okay. doing. I feel as though we shouldn't be talking about people. I feel like we should just go amongst ourselves yeah. and start thinking of a plan. We're getting a bit off topic here. Um, we're going into certain people instead of actually getting the job done. Um, Very true. So, you know, I think we should just, instead of going to war immediately with each other, I agree with Don here on we should fight each other, but the difference is now, a major clan, and this is true, you guys have seen it, is consisted of just 60 people. People are calling that powers. Used to, it was 120 plus and now, that, that was the superpower, and now somebody gets 80 or 60 members that everyone thinks they're amazing. Um, so oh, I no, feel no, like no, we should build that's actually, our clan That's actually up true. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. The United Nations never grew beyond 75 people. Yeah, they were never a superpower. They were just, of course, influential, oh, no. which is... They were, no, no, no. Superpower is different to each community. Okay? Now, the, the reasons to become a superpower is completely different okay it, it is um basically to be a superpower you're you're the strongest inside of your community simple as that united nations held that b100 held that at a time fleetcom held that a bunch, bunch of different clans held it. it comes with influence and power at the same time so yes it, it, it's not only based on the numbers it's about the power that you wield united nations had well, I wouldn't say that their military was the best. I would say that their politics were also good. Now, politics is not always bad, gentlemen. That's what we have to know. It's just, um, it's how just you, you, don't, you, you don't, yeah, it's how you use them. You don't use it only as your weapon. I mean, the United Nations still fought, mili fought with military, but they did not only wield to diplomatic relations. But I, I do agree with what John had to say. We have to establish the new, well, I'm going to add on to what you said. We have to establish a new type of superpower in this community. By doing that, to get what we want is to gain supporters from what is right now, okay? We are the minority, unless there is more than there is right now. There are, there's obviously people that are not talking out because they're afraid of the repercussions that come from it. So we need to find those people. We need to make them come out and stand up against the people that they are afraid of by supporting them. That's why... If this goes to hell, which I'm pretty sure it will, we will have to fight the people that still want control over the community, the ones, the bureaucrats that want it. You will have to fight them with the sides, allies versus the axis. Okay? That's how it's going to turn out to be. And we need to make sure that all of us stay loyal to each other until this conflict is over. And by the conflict is over is that we all mutually agree that it's over. One person cannot just say, oh, it's over, we defeated one clan, now we can go back to stabbing each other in the back. We can mutually agree to this. That's how we will gain success. And that's when we can go back to the traditional way. I agree. Definitely yep, agree too. there, Boa. Definitely agree. But that's going to be a lot of fucking people to get, get to that level, bro. Well, that's where we have that's to go, and I say, I say we gain support of the directors. NATO director, UAF director, etc. To be honest to you, they're not the real. They're, they're not the real they people real that are deal. in charge they of the board the of directors. Deal, they ain't the real deal. Me and the century director were the first directors on Halo Reach before everybody else started changing their gamer tag with director in it. It became a popular trend, and everybody went around putting director in their gamer tag. I don't understand it, but me and director were the original board of directors creators and then from there it was passed down to general stafford when i changed my gamer tag and left the board of directors because of its corruption we have to gain those board of directors back though they still have there's still clients that still have members to a certain extent and they still have some sort of unification 
since their past history has intertwined them. Mm-hmm. So maybe we should go. Maybe we should shift our conversation to how we will get these. How many current directors are there? And as in, like, the real ones that actually do hold power, you can still bring in the um, copycats because there's still extra men that we can have. Any ideas? UAF director runs a clan that spawn kills and they're ridiculous in raids. I've, I've fought them before. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, took yeah, over you are in the... Uh, he's just, uh, he's uh, just the chief tag. Well, let me just, just say... The bases that they use are the fucking bridge maps, where there's a huge ass bridge. You run to a base and then you try and get inside of it, but the door is blocked with fusion coils and a bunch of other stupid shit. <laughs> Ridiculous. Now let's go over what we used to do in the old community. Spawn killing was legal back then, gentlemen. Let's remember that. Uh, I remember that. Spawn. Now I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I tr I trained the JFCA people that fought in combat for the JFC to get around spawn killing. I love spawn Thank killing, you. personally. Thank you. Uh -huh. Somebody who agrees with me. Spawn killing. You want to know why spawn killing is great? You have no one fucking watching the base. You have people... Thank you. Let's say, let's say you, spawn Thank you. you spawn inside Hemorrhage Beach. You have people on the canyons. Who's guarding the base? Some guy with a rocket launcher? It's a fantastic idea. We exploit it, gentlemen. And that's what we need to bring back. You guys have this. You guys have this sense of rules of what to do. You get to do whatever the fuck you want. You can use. Mean, uh, I mean, I understand where the where the spawn killing should come in. I mean, spawn killing is fun. I do agree. But for the other clan, you know, it's they don't agree. They for the for the other clan, then they lose them. They forfeit. They got, you should make the. You, you want to why? You want to how you do it? it That's why you discuss terms before the raid, guys. You don't even, yeah, you say, here are my terms, you're invading me, I can spawn kill you, and if you don't like it, that shows that you are not skilled enough to go around it, therefore you lose because you forfeit or you're throwing a little pussy fit because you can't do it. You want it to be fair. That's what you have to say to them. It works every time. I can about promise you that. They will adapt to it if you set a new legislation for rules. Okay? They will adapt to it. They will be forced to because they're not going to have any action. Soon, they will have to agree with us so that they will be able to actually grow a clan because with to grow a clan, you have to have activity now, don't you? Yes. So they, they will have to do it. I about promise you that. So those little stick in the, sticks in the mud over there and the little community meeting right now having tea time, they will agree to it. They will have to. I do agree that spawn killing is fun, but I believe that to a certain extent, like think of this, for example, you make your base completely 100% overpowered and just somehow, somehow you are not so confident in your troops. One of them fucks up and loses a sniper, your base is taken over. Then how big of a bitch is it going to be to take your base back? Think about it. That is why on that's, my base, that's, that's why, that's why I you try to train your members to invade your bases anyway. Train your members on your own map. Train them to get in even against the highest odds. Now I agree to a, I, I agree, I agree with you to a, extent of where spawn killing is bad. Now, I'm not, I'm not the type of guy that likes to kill boundaries around the spawn that you have, to, you have to find a little pattern to go through, and that's stupid. Okay, I know, I know a clan that did those called TFS. But they were... The idea of spawn killing but that is that if they're invading your territory, you shoot them when you first see them. They're coming into your territory, you shoot them. If they, if they want to go up against you, then they have to go against every single text in the... Um, that you have in your arsenal. Because in the end, you're defending what you have built over a, a X amount of time. You're going to do anything that you can to do that. So, maybe we should make a little regulation for it. Maybe we can vote on that later, but yes, I do agree that their <clears throat> spawn killing, too much of it is a little bit too hard to handle. Well, let's move on. Any other ideas how we can Gain support. Uh, yeah, I got one. Just working. <laughs> Media. Media is good. Who wants to run a YouTube channel? I can do it. I may, I may be able to soon. We're about to publish a video this weekend, and 
we may be able to put, I have three guys with capture cards and they can run a relay on who records what, so we can definitely do something. I got a YouTube account. I do as well, some of my, um, some of my Praetorians have capture cards as well. I have a you can start a, you can, you can start a, you can start a propaganda war. But the UN did it. Uh, yeah, website. I feel like that'd be a bad if idea. You want me, if you want to set up a website, we yeah. can set up a website. We should not do a propaganda war because now we're transforming from a immature community, and if we did a propaganda war, it would of course get out of hand. The UN already knew what they were doing, pretty much. This is just to get out of hand. and instigation gets me excited. <laughs> well, then I hope you're not influencing this community too much. But um, <clears throat> well, we'll talk. We'll talk about the YouTube thing once we. All of you guys have to build up your own YouTube channels for your individual clan. You guys post certain things, post little responses to what happened in the community, responses to clan battles, etc. Really build up your news sections on your websites. Write articles often. Inform members or the viewers of your websites. Because that's how you gain their support, or at least have them informed. <laughs> so, so, when they, so when you have some guy walk into a game, you don't have him automatically switch to one side because he doesn't know what's going on. You want them to be informed. So it's similar to informed voting. You don't want some idiot voting for the wrong guy because, well, frankly, he doesn't know what's going on. Hey, bro, I got a goal with my clan here, so this is really important, so I want to Over here, you got me. Yeah, sure. I think some, I think some more people, I, I think we should have um, a meeting like this every week discussing with new people uh, to see if we have more followers, and I, I think people in this lobby should spread this to everyone else so we can get the community back to the old traditional ways. Yeah, through media, yeah. we have to, through messages, anything. Oh, I love that idea. I think we did that as well. I say that from this point on, we should have scheduled meetings once a week, and that we should have, well, first of all, spread the news to your friends. If they weren't in this game, go tell them right now what happened. Tell them about the, the idea that's going to come into play. We have to pass this information on to anyone that thinks that they agree with us. That's important. That's how we get our word out. That's how we get influence. We need to, therefore, gain basically a voter base, okay? We need to gain supporters, all right? Now, if anyone has any further questions, you can always contact me through message. I can probably schedule a meeting with you. I am getting, I, after all, I am an old, a, I am a old gen leader, so I am getting a bit of a life. I'm not that addicted as I was a few years back, unfortunately. But I will respond to your messages at any sort of time that I actually can. Sound good. Now I know that Dr. Dre also agrees with me. I know John agrees with me. Ask them questions. Ask Sentry John questions because obviously he's on our same page. We'll reconvene next week or at a different time. We don't have to leave right now. I'm just sending the, the agenda for right now unless we have something better to do. But um, I think this is great. If anyone has any other questions or comments to say or to go to a new topic, you guys have the floor. <laughs> well, don't all of you talk at once. <laughs> well, I think, let's see here, what can we talk about? What else can we bring up? Um, the enemies. Who are they specifically? The enemies. Yes, exactly. Who are these? Uh, who are the enemies? Everyone, in my opinion. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, really, everyone. Like, honestly. Well, everyone that's, let's just say, at this point, right now, in the certain circumstances, anyone that does not agree with our mindset. We all yes. agree with that. Until we're all done with this, then we can actually go back to the original idea, how we all are enemies to a certain extent. I have a feeling that one enemy is going to be growing very, very soon. And that enemy <laughs> is most likely going to be the League of Nations. They're political. They're exactly like the UN. I mean, come on now. League of Nations, really. Cliche name, obviously. Anyways, Ice Slayer will be, yes, Ice Slayer will be in support of this. I, Ice Slayer will, I don't know if he'll be in support of this. I think he's going to go the other way. And he's oh, I mean, I mean yeah, in, in, support, in support of challenging us, I mean. Yes, so, he is yeah. going to be, uh, he's going to pull an Admiral Zinova and try and get people to side with him, and then he's going to come and attack us. That's most likely what's going to happen. 
So that is one possible enemy right there. I'm pretty much 95% sure that he is going to go against our wishes. Stafford? Stafford. I don't know if he would or if he won't. He's afraid of my clan. He's very, very, very afraid of he's it. He's afraid and of a lot of clans. To be honest with you, he's afraid of a lot of clans. And to be honest with <laughs> you, he's more of the follower type. The person that can be instantly, you know, you can manipulate. I think he's well, one of those guys that just uh, that um, command a meeting. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to say something. Yeah, yeah. Part um, I, I don't know if you've, uh, you know, um, like observed when uh, Stafford's got a meeting going on, but people are, you know, like sh uh, shooting at him and uh, talking over him and all that. They didn't really listen to him. So I don't really think he's much of a problem. Um, but yeah, yeah, he would probably, you know, go against this, but I wouldn't really him being much of a problem, to be honest. Let so, me just say, he is in a threat. I fought him, his base was taken in under a minute and 15 seconds. Oh, Jesus. Well, that just says a lot of stuff right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not to mention the fact that his clan's based off of some Star Wars shit or something. Isn't that great? <laughs> like, well, hey, there. I mean, oh, yeah. my clan is based off of the Roman Legion. I mean, how we do things. We have Praetorians, Legates, yeah, Templins, Apothecaries. Um, that, that, that's not made up, though. That's historical. <laughs> oh, that was shot. Yeah, I think it's just got, you oh, know, it's that from the Star uh, Wars Well, I mean, it is, it, it is copied off of Warhammer 40,000. I mean, if, if you're not familiar with the game Dawn of War. His oh, yeah. clan is the Galactic Republic, right? Is that it? Galactic Republic, the yeah, Delta oh, XCI. I heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. That's but, another um, Star Wars yeah, one. Yeah. So, um, also, I think we need to address something that's very more cosmetical. What's going to be the name of this? I mean, we can call. We right now, this is basically a coalition like JSOC or anything. We can come up with a name. How about we say something like a uh, not like a group, so to speak, or a movement. I think maybe the I think maybe the Imperialist Federation, something like that. <laughs> nope. I don't think it's really <laughs> nope. Not something. Not something nope. too. Not something too UUF. I mean, something around that basis. Something that sounds catchy and interesting. Well, do, we want, catchy do we want? Do we want? Attention. Do we want it to be a group, or do we want it to be a movement? I don't think anyone's I'd done a movement, movement before. I'd say Why not movement. Just the coalition. It could be a coalition. Let's say that as a group, though. Yeah. yeah. Take almost the exact. Um. I got nothing. I always hate this. Honestly, whenever I try to help an ally make a clan name, this is always the hardest part in the process. We yeah, the hardest practice. thing in clan history is always making names. Absolutely. I hate, I hate making names. I hate it. Yeah. Maybe we don't need one. We don't necessarily need a name. We can call it the traditional we movement, the going back to the traditional values. Yeah. I don't know. We still yeah, have Traditional movement. There you go. We can become the know nothing. The know nothing <laughs> traditional movement. <laughs> Hold the lines? I don't know. It sounds weird. Or just the movement. <coughs> Put a V in front of it. Yeah. Uh, the that no one's, no one's going to know what that means, really. The movement. <laughs> the movement. I mean, I mean, how about how about the legions? Like we have legions of clans under us. I mean, come on now. Sounds amazing. I, well, I think a legion will require a leader then, and I'm not really for that. So yeah, mm, maybe. Yeah, true. <laughs> we could call it elitism. Oh, yeah. This is gonna sound really cheesy, but the United Clans, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. <laughs> the United Clans movement, you see them. It's not bad. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm, I'm trying to come up with something. I hate coming up with names. It's ridiculously hard. I mean, it, it takes me a while. Well, you want to know what happened on Halo 4 when anti-UUF <clears throat> coalition? I mean, that was just fantastic right there, that naming. That was the actual name of the coalition, anti-UUF coalition. Yeah, that was smooth. It was just yeah. amazing. Perfect. Wasn't that great? Led by it. U.S. Noble himself. I hate that guy. Oh, yeah, that guy. There's a lot of 
the UF members in here. I think that's the, the thing uh, is, gonna look no, at, UF look at how successful. The United, United Forces now, or something, formerly known as USOA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, USOA and Noble Kilo. Yeah, he, he's a squeaker that likes to put his, vo- put his voice down to sound older, and you can totally tell it. Totally tell yes, it you, can, you can tell. I've talked to him a couple times. He likes politics. Um, let's call the United Clans movement for now. We can always change it next time. But, um... United Clans organization. That's a big word for... Or UCC, United Clans Corporation. Corporation installs a leader, and that's not really the right thing to Enterprise. say. Corporation's Enterprise. Enterprise the same thing. Damn it. Enterprise, we pick you up. Let's stay with the UCC no. for now. But, um... This is what, if we want further contact with the JFCA, obviously my friends list is full if you have been trying to send me friend requests. You can always send a friend request to JFCA Firestorm here, who is my chief of staff. He runs operations for the JFCA and also supervises the foreign affairs. So you can send him in friend request if you guys cannot reach me. But um, just to put that out there in case I forget about it later, which I probably will. But, um, and I am friends with Super Squirrel now, so you may send me one as well. So... Gentlemen, this is what I think we need to think about until we come back next time, because I think we're about to lose interest here. We need to find out who's going to be going up against us. In this next week, try to find people that are deliberately going to try to ruin this movement. Okay? If they are, shoot myself, Dr. Dre, Don, John, Firestorm, a message about it. Okay? We don't really care. Either one will be fine, because eventually we'll get it later. We just need to see yep. who is going to be challenging us in the future so we can actually prepare for that. Also, try to gain supporters. Gain supporters for this movement. Should we all do that? I have a feeling that NATO director is going to go against us. Same with UAF I don't think director. He is. NATO director likes me. Are you but, sure? um, yep, he actually looks up to me in a way. <clears throat> he actually said that to me. But, um, in the future, <laughs> we will convene on these actual ideas. Is this all fair? Yes. All right. Well, guys, that's all I really have. You guys can keep talking if you want, but um, I guess this concludes our formal meeting. All right? I felt like I went to therapy. That was a long time ago, and that that mic is not coming out right. Um, guys, if you want to make an official alliance with my clan, um, recently we've had that go in an under change of 